Papa, me mo akwa ba e ba silver 98.3 pa cho ti fo aye krado. Ya mi sha obinash. Ye da eradiasia odi nensu so ache ye na etiasi wo na ni mo yam. Amen. We thank the Lord for his gift of life that we are alive today to glorify his holy name. I bring you special greetings as always to all my hearers in the wonderful name of Jesus. And then so we go to the church room come at the ma material for you now. I will a dim one was so a year over Jesus Christ a dim When God speaks silver 98.3 FM that is why miracles are happening through the preaching of his word so medical doctors and people of faith continue to open the radio loud at the hospitals and more miracles will continue to happen hallelujah amen thank you jesus okay let's continue to hear the word of god this day and I want to encourage you with the same scripture that we read last week. Exodus chapter 10 verse 21 to 23. Why I'm using the same scripture to encourage you again uh, this week is that the scripture Silver, is amazing. 98.3 FM that God could separate light from darkness. Gentia me pese me di asem kron yara na wotu etwa mo me di she won kran. Esa she won kran bio ani se. Nyankopon aye som no no ne ho ye won won pa. Se urade tumi ma esum kongen na kani anso so akongen. Wonderful. Eh won won pa. If God could separate light from darkness it means that was what he did when he started to create the world that we're living in genesis chapter 1 as god created the earth the heavens and the earth the bible says that in verse 2 that of genesis chapter 1 that the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the fa- over the face of the waters then god said let there be light and there was light and god saw the light that it was good and god this way i like and god divided the light from the darkness amen. hallelujah amen it means that god was showing the egyptians his creative power Amen. hallelujah it says say urade nyame na o chere israel for say me my body e to me no son say o bia e bi wa o betumi aka se kan ya nyira na sum so nyira no one can do that except my god who created the heavens and the earth so what he did in egypt was very serious mm-hmm. if god will redo what he did from the beginning that it means he wanted to show them that he is almighty god Amen. with all the superpower so ready eh ye the oye in the biwa or ba the oye in the biwa na just o chira o se hwe so we be fear come about the kwa me fast so bad you know me wo to me asia dey na the darkness that he brought in egypt was so thick that you couldn't see someone standing away from you na it's so many you to pass eh obi ji how come you that they couldn't come out for three days hallelujah what an awesome god nya me hu ye hu papa 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 so obi ji how you no e omo nyina ka dem for enam years no omo she dem you see i want to use this to encourage you that If some people say they believe in God but are afraid of a virus it means that they they don't understand the God we are preaching about hallelujah amen the mission we cry and say so because of your christian no so virus be a no nim nyame a you can't force let me ask you a question can you see the virus 
moving from one person to another. No, you can't see. The reason is that you cannot see the virus with the naked eye. So it means that what you cannot see, you can't prevent. If you can't see something, you can't prevent it. But Almighty God, who sees all, can prevent it from moving from one person to another. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God can block the virus, which I say it is a demon, from moving from one person to another. He can easily do that. Hallelujah. Amen. If you could block darkness from mingling with the light, it means that God can block anything that walks in darkness from coming to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He could do that easily. So you need to encourage yourself. We walk with angels. And God has assigned them to protect us from any harm that may come to us through the darkness. Yeah. You see, if God could block the darkness in Egypt from going to the children of Israel, he can easily block the demon from coming to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So encourage yourself this week that our God can do everything. Amen. You see, it is a shame that it, some people may call themselves men of God, but they are struggling to understand what is going on. So be friend who said you are my sofa. And now we are sempakeni na on to me tin e koso asia. It is a big shame because God who created everything can show you whatever is going on if you ask him in prayer. Amen. 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 God's protection for his children is naturally awesome. You see? So keep your faith as a child of God and don't let any empty motivational speakers fool you. They are empty barrels making ugly noise. Our God can do everything. So don't let anyone fool you. Uh -huh. Some people are ashamed because they heard me preach like this. So they try to change it. No matter how you try to change your stand, your true colors was seen at the initial stages. Said you see Tiapa and you are genuine Yamano and our camera about a coronavirus. It is a so to Sawadia. Memo be Nada, what it? Wow, wow, we are Christian in whom say I saw for the Bible. Why, Yami Omokan was a no, Omon Nimino, Omon Nimino cry. Don't let anyone fool you. They are empty vessels, they don't know what they are talking about. If you actually know God, as I've preached to you from uh, uh, the Bible. And I've demonstrated how he could separate light from darkness. You will never say he cannot prevent a virus, which is even a demon. You don't know what you are talking about. Amen. 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 As I continue from where I left off last week, I want the elite to understand that no form of knowledge surpasses godly knowledge said ye ye to asunei me pese obiara onim de no osiangoma enti asese nim de bia ni ho a e chen nya me ho nim de amen amen when human knowledge clashes with godly or spiritual knowledge who would you listen to say nipa nim de any nyame nim dia na se sunsun munim dia 
a bot and bonin bois. Who are we in the panel? Why in Abetino? My advice to professionals is that this world has different types of human knowledge. But whenever your human knowledge clashes with the one who has spiritual knowledge, just surrender to that person. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. O kura sun sun munim dia na nyame hunim dia hia to dia de chene kura na fa unim dia na eko she ni pa wo hunhun munim dia no ase don't rely on the advice of human knowledge mem fa hun to ni pa wo ni wiase ni pa hunim dia efutu oso when god comes in he has the knowledge in every aspect of the earthly life o nyame bo a o bo so eni asase o be mu Ono o nim dia wo adie bia re wo asasi so is an say we are say on the boy the one with human knowledge is limited in only one area of knowledge obu ho a nipa ono no ebetu fo no obu ho eh kwa ba ko person obetu metu fo afa so a professional wa eh adie o ko si ai na de onim no ho asem e na obetu mi aka nso so ye nyankopon de obetu mi atu fo o kwa be bresu god knows it all so he is the one we should listen to all the time. That is what makes dependence on human knowledge very childish. Godly knowledge has a wider edge over human knowledge because the one with human knowledge cannot see spiritual circumstances. God is the only one who knows the absolute truth about every situation. Hallelujah. Nyamim kwa no ni ma die bi hun no kware pa. Ewo viasia. When you go back to the scripture we studied last week in Acts chapter 27 verse uh, 9 to 12 you can see that when Paul said he perceived that the journey will be with disaster he he was seeing two things. Se uko akin ka se mo ye kan wo sma fo wo ma ti adio no anson ne chiche mo ye nkon adi kosi dubie no abra o sma fo po kan se e kontu aye beti adi se ye bebe no adi e ma me no na no paul was seeing these two things i'm going to talk about that the people with, with him in the ship who were dwelling on their human knowledge could not see number 1 what did he see Paul was either seeing a human error that the captain could do to make something go wrong. Na o hu se bia. O hu ni pam from so. Na se se o shen kani no. Na obetumi aye bibia. E dem from so bi. E be kwa kofa emosio bia ba. That was one thing. Number 2. It could be that he also saw a demon that will attack them on the sea. E bi ado wo hu se ye se se ase se ye kope ahun money bi e betumi asori atia ye e wo ensue e pono so these two things people with human knowledge could not see Amen. hallelujah sa mi ma mi enu no so ukuta enipa nim dia untumi hu se e bi ana hyen kafo no obeyem fom so bi na ma ship no hyen na kwache that is why you need to always rely on the one who has spiritual knowledge because the one with human knowledge cannot see these things I'm talking about. And you see 
That is why every man who says he represents God should never be confused about any situation. Hallelujah. Obiara o friend won say o nya me sofo no. Eni sesi te bia bia be si wa sati so ano. E ya ni nwanwada. Eni se ya nwanwa. Unbelievers and the church goers should understand that any man who calls himself a pastor or a servant of God but does not comprehend what is going on in the world today does not know God nor have his mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One na any ni any asore kofu on ti asyese obia obe friend who se o yo sofu ana se o yo nyami akwa na nsu su eni ama ekosu o wi ase ase se on ti ase na o bisa no a o di na dwen person o ka se bia no mon ti ase se oni mi nyami a me me ka ne ho ase me na oni mi nyami so adwe hallelujah amen the reason is that god knows everything so if you say you are his servant he will tell you the truth about every situation when you ask him in prayer. Hallelujah. One name be bia. I read in the name no quarry for be bia round. It is our friend who said, "Oh, we are yamia kwa, who suffer no, obetre wa se impaibom." Amen. Amen. I said we live in two worlds, and therefore we have two lives. So if you waste your time on only one life which is in this world you are not wise me can say yet in come you know man we are see me you know and you say who say what that year and you see can you bring in our heart who name me answer if you are wise prove to your children by adding godly knowledge to your human knowledge by seeking eternal rest for your soul amen so we see unim nyansa pa. Eni chere o masi unimi na udi nyami diano nyami unim diano. Ebe kasa si si unim diano na wapen kobi edi ama okra. That is living for God through His Word. Don't waste your life here on earth and die to burn in eternal fire. For nyami asem etransi wa braba ubon hamu na wan transi. Ama wa wa bra ban sei na wa hu anko o sei e mweja e ja enum den In the midst of Paul's warning in Acts chapter 27 one thing made the spiritual knowledge very authentic Say a ko asmafo asmafo woman e kai no na otwe twa mu no a na asmafo Paul e bo won koko no a ade ba ko pa bi ba ya e ma onipa owo one thing and that is one word what is it it's core proof adie ba ko adan so ama oni pa okutan hu mu nim die na semu ye du and he say o dan die bi adi when the disaster occurred in the ship i am sure that all the people will be afraid of paul to realize that their human knowledge was very limited me did say abra uh, at the Shirian Bay, now Omutuka and Yemen in a Gushi Punumu, now Shining in a Pai Pai, now Omuya Besuno, now Yemen in a Seiko Basano, who no makes a say any papa or Kuta woman in the only son as they say, and then cause FO. I'm sure they would have said, if we knew, we should have listened to the man with spiritual knowledge. Me did this a comebacker anymore, no send Kenipa. Oh, human enemy, dear no kata. Oh no, nanan kwa se yadin hotesu. You see, they couldn't see what Apostle Paul saw. Obia udi honam enemy dear trevi asino. Oh, humu sun sun mu adi. Into oma humu niema Apostle Paul huni ano. As I warned you, I am seeing what you don't see. Adofo se di ame ba ukoko no adi ame huno mi yam kwa shishimi. Mr. Opa, I am deeply scared for you because of what I'm seeing. I'm seeing what you don't see. What you happen, what will happen here in Ghana, 
will be news around the world. I tell you, I say, we see what people will hear. It is this fear that is causing some presidents to force the churches to reopen. Sir, who know? Any idea, basically, we are saying, President, for the busy way, Mumia Sonor, in the honor essential places of worship. And then the buyer, Nedia, or make a foa, Nipa Bess and Pimo Han Equi, or Muko, or Mrs. Sedia, Mumia Media Sonor. Be, be, whatever I'll be. What came to the President of America? What did he see? That now almost 100,000 people are dying. But he's now saying, let us open the places of worship because they are very essential. He might have seen something. The warning that God is giving to mankind. I'm saying that God himself will knock some people down and no one can rescue them. May God just say, Minya no ankasa. You, I have seen it, but you have not seen it. It's just like what happened on the ship. Apostle Paul saw something different. Those with human knowledge were also seeing something different. Me and me kase free nyame ho mono. Me hu adie sonko bi. But who are the nipa nim dia so be hu adie sonko. You see so be be wise and be very careful. That whenever God wants through spiritual knowledge, you don't let your human knowledge come in to show any attitude of pride. What? Se nyame kase free ho mo. Em fa nipa nim dia no. Amen. 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 Okay. As I continue with my message of why some people ignore God's warnings, let me give you another reason today. Me twasu I will must say what me can say. A dear bear in a mabinum a radicasa no media to a chino. And then so so be beso me mouny na so bako become. The next thing that causes people to ignore God's warnings has to do with worldly wealth. Worldly wealth. I mean wealth human beings accumulate here on earth. I told you that every warning that God gives to humanity is because He doesn't want us to perish. So every warning from God means that He wants to save us from His wrath. Genesis. Genesis chapter 19 Genesis chapter 19 and I'm only reading from verse 17 and 26 I only read from verse 17 verse 17 says that so it came to pass when they had brought them outside that he said escape for your life do not look behind nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountains lest you be destroyed. Verse 26 says but his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Amen. 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 Wabra ne uradinya me asuma bofo se yenko sodom eni gomora enko se hono abofo no di lot ene ne yiri pie yeno eni wakachira wan se wunya ninge wun kira wuka na mo mo nani wun meni nisho wun machikura wun munko bebi ya wun peso wun beko na enjiche mwa di onun si yane se nan soso lot yiri ni cha ne mi fya ene chi na odane and Chinese. Because God warned Lot and his wife.
to escape for their lives and not to turn back but his wife turned behind her she became a pillar of salt it is very very sad god warned lot and wife because he wanted to save them from the imminent fire a jar na ekwebe koso no ene urade bo lot no yiri kokose hwe na man hwe mochi but lot's wife did not heed the warning a radical se mo mo ntwe ni hwe yechi lot yiri de wan fa kokobo no anya she turned back and became a pillar of salt or dan ani emobe ya nchensi for for the woman to turn what does it signify obabo ana obado or dan ani no e che say a woman represents fertility oba ye dig na homa the ewo therefore women are the embodiment of humanity because they produce men and women it is a oba e ye the ewo dia and you know by jina homa a nipper was a sister, and said, Ma, and I didn't make money, Ma, about as a sister. What I mean is that I want to use the woman to signify that human beings are the ones who are turning away from God. Why did she turn backwards? Why? Why did she turn backwards? Two things. It was because of her accumulated wealth. In Sodom and Gomorrah, a ya day no ban danachi, a ya semua maker in your soa maker and no pay, a ya hunya dia, no mamma in ya, a was Sodom and Gomorrah. Number two, she turned behind because her heart was not with God and His word. Or Danny Meni is answer, Nana Kuma, and near semna ne radi akan, ne coco bonua, ne radi bo airborne. And now, boy, you know, you hold an akuma and now someone a radical. You see, as as the door turns on its hinges, so does a rich person turn to the direction of his wealth. Said the apono, eh, it's a beer, not that the end of shame, fifi, a share honor, a tumor pono buya, and a catumino. Sana si can be a nahunya de bandano. Said the prophet, "Be a blessing, as you can be a hundred years." That and wealth decides the direction of the possessor. A hundred years, and the chair ni pebiya ra wenya a hundred years no. A chair kwanya onfa swana bebiya onfa neni entre. That is why the Lord said in Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-one, that where your treasure is, there. Your heart will be also. And until the ready Jesus Christ to come, Matthew as simple. Tinsia, the teacher more do not back us. Baby, our dem would be one. A whole now a kuma, and so so a bell. The fleshly heart follows the earthly treasures, but the spiritual heart follows the heavenly treasures. A kuma biara a ya sasi so a kuma no. Asasi swa japadie ena na jene da woso inan swa kuma eye hon hon ma kuma no osuru adem a japadie eno ena neni e woso Lord's wife forgot about the circumstances of her actions and the raging fire because of her heart's desire ma minu refi se se me dan me chi adie ne besi ni refi asama ne urade aka no o si men na ni wachi ni refi adentia na kume mono ade a na ekoso wa na kume munti ma men ti urade de no entun kene kra you see when demons are in control of your heart you follow your treasures like a mouse which follows a lead to a food in a trap forgetting that it is that trap the me pattern say sa ho money kura wa kuma mu ah e ma ba bia wa dem de e wo no e wa de wo de kira o wo ti so kura o kura ye de aduane a she e fidie no de aduane no ko ye do na hia no 
It is very sad. It is very, very sad. She turned in the opposite direction to God's instructions. She looked at the opposite direction. It means that some wealthy people disobey God's instructions and live in the contrary direction. It just says, "Sika fopi, one sekanti, one mudani wamani eme radiasem. Koko boy radidi bono. Ni via siya japadi enti. One munti kwa wealth will direct the course of your life. So one shia, a via siya japadi ano, eni nebetsho bebiya unko." What Betchel said here, baby, I'm more brabonko. Many people's hearts are not with God or His word, all because of worldly wealth. Ni pepi wawa kuma eni radiachi anasa wom radia semechi ni ya yuasi ya japadi ya yuasi ya japadi ya. They have turned away from God. And their heart's desire of worldly wealth is dictating the course of their lives. Woman, that woman, you cry, me ready cry. And the woman come and swear the enemy will see a party. Yeah, and the children won't be on you. They are forgotten about the consequence of hellfire, and that is very, very sad. Woman, refi cry, she said. You refi say. So that when you me ready, someone. A giant in that, a giant in the sea, and that. What would tell me on a pain now? You are before. No, when you are so japan, yes, no, Miss Yas or Gas Cucano, never will suck it to a bishop. So, bet me just five seconds. You see, don't let the world's wealth dictate the course of your life because you burn in hell and the fire will never quench. I always say that if you want to know how hell will be. Light your gas cooker and put the small finger in just for five seconds and see whether you can stand it. It is very, 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 very serious. Because of these reasons, that was why Lot's wife found it very hard to abandon the wealth, world wealth that they were leaving behind. Let me show you something. And some of my boys in the Maobano. Na ayani din se e japadia wa nyan wa jane wa sasi sonu o jaho ayani din pa she found it very difficult to put the worldly wealth behind her and listen to the word of god let me show you something in genesis chapter 13 genesis chapter 13 and i'm reading from verse 5 and 6 lot also who went with abram abram's name was before called abram Abraham had flocks, heads, and tents. Listen to it again. Lot also, who went with Abraham, had flocks, heads, and tents. Let's just say, Abraham, when you lot to call him, no one nigh pa, no one just to fall pa, and no tent. It just said, now come back and say, he had a lot of livestock, a lot of servants, and a lot of houses. If it was to be today, because in those days. They were living in tents. Verse 6 says, Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great. So great that they could not dwell that was why the woman couldn't listen to the word of God the possessions were very great they, they had wealth they were very rich so the woman was thinking in her heart hey, so we are leaving all these things behind hey, that was why she couldn't listen to the warnings of God she was so much consumed by the worldly wealth if we are seeing a japadia na farmer me na jay say asama ne radi e kan kura no na ma me ente ente kura you see wealth will let you struggle to come to terms with the reality of life a japadia be ma 
Chese be ya udin se no kwari pa fe nyami ya semo eni via seno ujia tumwa na ya udin. That was why she ignored God's warning and looked behind contrary to the warnings of God. But listen to me, truth is truth. Mame na ya di din. It's and say Japadi I know we just deny your pages. Ah, and the guy in it says I wrong something. Say, and the Japadi I'm the calling that and I shared all. It's in a moment and just says I want to wear your hair. And so no quarry and no quarry. That was the truth. That was the truth. If God wants to save your life, worldly wealth will be a hindrance. Say, ready person or just one car. As as you say Japadi, I bet you can see it. The number of livestock, the tents, the possessions, and the servants that brought the family feud between Lot's family and Uncle Abraham all became vanity. Nyema, what would you call ye? A Japadia, a Dino, a tent to know to my Dino, a Muano, a Japadio. And Kuano Medio Mako, I didn't talk about it, and the Busian in the Wafani, the Papenian in I, Nina Yaka. Vanity upon vanity, Nina Yan. That is the problem with the many rich people today. They fail to come to terms with the truth in godly knowledge. We as a cafobe over problem, no, no. One person on Betias, no money, who whom in the end, I again. They are so much consumed with the human knowledge because of the worldly accumulated wealth some rich people don't heed god's warnings especially when they have influence in the society they are being controlled by their wealth to turn away from God, like Lot's wife. We are seeing Japadi a show on so, and my one you are getting a few ready cocoa bossu. No man done the right thing. I'm a ready at them. Said Lot to Yerno. Don't let your wealth cause you to turn away from God. You may struggle to accept the truth in God's warnings, but truth is truth. A bare old thing. Se be a radi boko kwa obe babi dietri. Nen su nukwari. Eye nukwari. God knows better than you. E radi ni miche wati. He knows that you can't stand the outcome of the hellfire. So accept and obey him. E radi ni mse. E jana e bano. You want to me nano. I've heard some people say. Me I don't care. One day born. One day die. I've heard people say that, and when I hear that, I always say it this way: that you said it correctly. You said you are not afraid of death because death can come in a minute, in, a, in or in hours. Death can come, but you didn't say I'm not afraid of the hellfire. Yeah, uncle, for can ne me me so wo eh ne se ni pa daku ni edi wo yeyi ne na daku ni ebe wo me te san semno eh ya me kan se what can he wo se wo so wo o wo odi eh me ti kakrebi na oko and now say awa kakrebi na oko number one can say me so hellfire because no one you didn't say I'm not afraid of hellfire because no one can stand the, the hellfire not even demon don't be deceived if demons have told you that oh you will not burn in hell. Don't be deceived. You will surely burn as the demons. Don't let your love for worldly things like Lord's wife bring you into disfiguration. She was disfigured. She changed. She metamorphosed from human being into a pillar of salt that was very serious what in my mind the just wa mu kura o o dani fi ni pen e ko si en ti si e hu pa it shows how serious you have to take the word of god and his warnings i just say say we di bo ko kwa fa na sam ke si e pa it san say asem e beto no o ti mi ngano o be hwa na mbere ko i was going to bring deep things from this scripture but time is fast spent i will continue next week god willing come back as am be mu e drobi o na so mbere ko the message today is simple. Accumulated wealth 
in this world is causing many people to turn away from God. Be wise and listen to God's warnings and don't let the worldly wealth put you in the hellfire. May God bless his word. Amen. 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 I want you to give your life to Jesus as I always finish the sermon. So if you if you want to give your life, wherever you are, say these words after me. As I say it in English, they will go in tree. Lord Jesus. I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Papa, what's the name? 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 will be upon them and you bring them to your heavenly abode that we will train them in the paths of righteousness thank you lord for speaking to your people in jesus name amen 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 Said you see lot in the assembly. You call Israel now, you call Bebia, Sodom and Gomorrah war. Now share a cropai, go near Sassin, dear. I ye won't be see beer was so in soon as you get beer. Now, me share sad, dear, a seaway, near so more, now ye a propo and some near my yoko who ye so far near day. Let us say, I need to miss some papa, papa. Let's say, I mean, one of me is having was a son, you know, we are money, yap, be yede. So I went to say, What do you say? Now, dear Sikana, Opa, and only a soft for Ninum was here and never knew. Sikanti, woman, you know, if you woman, you're soft, and I'm in free, and to carry your best of your minions, get your mobile, and the woman was here, but so so will you say, No one seen your milk or bar or bought a real meal, no one saw what here, who back up for time and empty send your lot to you, no, and then a tree is seen. Yami shall die, and you said that, and then so did some beba, who shall, amen. 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 You will be trust with you, my own. And you cry. Say, we are saying, you're a dear. You might probably be a young woman, a free ready, cocoa bomb. Ah, am I ready? In the only more, you know, cocoa bomb, and I'm a sweet. I said, 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 Bakupe, who are now called. But one can say, Omusro, a Janu. And when you say the Janitia, and come can say, Oh, we have a Pena, no go up with And then I can say, Oh, they have so gas. Now, found, sir, a shimmy, said it. Just five seconds. No more said it. And see, Mammy, maybe I say your paddy, and he, 
no matter how painful Silver. the one was warning is, you have to look behind the consequences that will come. It is she, it is so so ever by it. No man, my way, that party is so as well. If you say the Okana and Akokobana, a banu, a dea, and Ukraine, a semi Akan, and the Yan Seni, the Tidia, Kokobefi, and Radia Koban. Amen. Amen. Daddy, a radin shall me measure see free baby. I was chassis and let the old chassis no now walk in you know me matthias and then say it was a only baby. I what it a sorry and now say what it baby. I walk a sorry no she say so for now would do a new mono or yin yan seni and I said in yan sane one it mono and in your media no day a year juma and also no one idea and all the year juma and the coco bar a radinam na kwa so abano de menso e ye me dese me no beche na wa ma wani aba wo so e ye wo sofo a wo gina wanim na da bia o kanyame asem e kire wo no so nsem o keka kire wo no e ye huhun mu nyansa na nimde e na ode kasa ana o no ani nimde e ni ni nyansa bia e woni mu e na ono wo e kasa won hu se ene ya awrade nam na kwa so ama ye hu se eni padodo a ne wo e e shape no mu no Eh, se na wo ma dwene da baby kura na Paul nko a adwene enam baby fufro na Paul de no de e ma ne ye den ne se ne awrade nam na kwa so aka se nyankopon nim de no e ya na e proof bi e pie frim na proof no ne be ma wa hunu se ade we e firi nyame ana se firi nyame e firi hu e ye hunhun mu e ne firi bai ana se firi hunhun mu nti obi biara e ne wati asem no me srew ma wani na ho na hwe wo sofo no se nka de o ye bia no efri hohun mu na ode ba ana se efri ono ani nim de ana ni nyansan mu eno ne be ma wa hunu se wudi sofo papa echi ana se wudi sofo boni echi me me ye proud se me 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 di reverend kuku da ze echi because niam a o nsem o keka kire ye nyina de di pefe se ade efri hohun mu na ode ye adwuma nti enya ade obeyemfom so de ema meka we nyina no sesa wa nya sofo oye hunhun mu ni a obedwene hunhun mu e de aye adwuma nya nsa firi hunhun aye adwuma obeyemfom so na oyemfom so nso ebetia wo etia wo nso a da no wonko ana wo kogina temu anim ewrade nhira wo dadi se odi nsempe ya bre amen amen dadi nyakopon hira wo pa wo nenso nsema eh wodi akokuduru aka akire wiase na dia meka ya na eh mpapa kan sisi ya no se after this lockdown no bo made ya so be pe nyame ni pa oka nyame asem a odi so enye dia odi na no ka se eh yesu yo dono no dia ondo no nyame ya do na se lockdown yi etwe mu a pe nyame ni pa nyame sofo a oka nyame ho asem na odi nyame asem no eso no na fa wo ho ebo no na mi jesus a lockdown we firi ho in so the baby, uh, I rest my case, <laughs> Papa. We patch our semi and I will catch up to an energy and a day about a year. My semi chat to only be nice. Minia, when you hang, there may be sudden. When you hang, when you shall be a sea japadier, and I say, share a ruddy cockobo. Dan when you etch it, Yammy cockobo, what it, the trust me rather than the Dan Wachi, and my via sea japadier. Where is your direction? That's my question. Are you looking to the word of God or you are looking to the worldly wealth? Turn your back to the worldly wealth and look up to the word of God. That will give you eternal life. What? So yes, sir. I have told you that we are serving God in his purity as it is in the Bible. Yes, the Bible. His power is at, at display. Come and see. 
He wants to show us in this end time that he's still alive. And when you come, we don't charge. We don't do anything. You will not have to pay any money before you talk to me. So, who person who be be a war? My catcher say you will cast it and you will not cry. Abba to a nurse, my young kakwane so. Go a feeling station in the honor. Fanny Fasso, a quiet dark time on one, O Quaco Sia Sia China, O Nifaso, Ubehu Ion Gate, Bio, a war and a war. If you are also educated, you can also find us through Google Maps. And don't forget that the headquarters of Action Power is also located in Amsterdam. May God bless you. You will come and see His power at work. Because my God can do everything for you. That is why he has sent me to tell you that with God, all things are possible. Nyamisha. Bye-bye.